Welcome to Homework Answers. We are going through the book C++ Programs to Accompany Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joanne Smith. And in this, in this video we're covering Lab 2-3. -3. Um, <clears throat> so uh, just remember that you're going to need to make a, a few minor modifications to the solution. Just like with every, uh, every video I put up, I change very, very minimal things. So just go back and make the necessary corrections. It'll be like the numbers, like these. You might have to edit these, or what this is called. Very simple. Um, <clears throat> and pretty much with, with this problem, uh, in this book you're given data files. You can either download them from the Cengage site or your instructor probably gives them to you. And with this problem, we're actually trying to figure out our, um, let's see, our profit and our sales price and our sales profit. So we, we need to kind of, you know, put our variables here and then our calculations here and then our um, outputs here. So I've, I've just gone ahead and, you know, said it's a dining room table. The book is probably different than that. And I've got a retail price, the price that the furniture store is going to sell it for. It's 525 the price they bought it for is 400, and so the sales price we're gonna you know figure that out. We're gonna figure out the profit, and we're also gonna figure out the sale profit. So with our uh, calculations here, we've got profit equals you know obviously retail price minus the wholesale price. Um, now they'll have a sales price because they're you know probably gonna reduce the price by like 15 percent. The book has something different, but you know you'll just change that. And so we'll figure out what that, that number is by doing retail price times 15% and then subtract it from the retail price to get our sales price. Then we've got our sale profit, so we have sales price minus the wholesale price. And um, all of this is pretty much outlined in the book as well. It, it, it tells you, you know, how to, how to uh, set up these calculations. So it's very simple. Um, so if you have the book, just follow along with it, but I've gone ahead and shown you here what it would look like. <clears throat> and then you just have your outputs here, you know, retail price, wholesale price, profit, sales price, sales profit. Let's go ahead and run it and check it out here. And what it's going to show you is item name, you know, retail price, wholesale price, your profit, if you don't, you know, put a sale on it. Uh, it's 125, obviously. Sales price, um, you know, if you if you do decide to have that 15, or if the furniture store decides to do that 15% off, or, yeah, 15% off of the retail price, then that's how much it's going to cost you, and then the profit if they decide to do that. So very simple. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, the book also says you'll learn how to uh, set up the the decimal places to your liking, you know, having two decimal places, no more, no less. Um, and uh, it says you, you learn how to do that later on, but I've gone ahead and, and put it in here. Uh, you have to have this include IOMAN IP, and then set precision to make sure you have fixed because that basically makes it do decimal places and not just two numbers, period. So um, you'll have that, and I just put those in for all of the values we get down here. So without this up here, these actually showed as just 525. But now that I have set precision to 2 and fixed, I get these two decimal places. And everything looks nice. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.